because there are some ladies that attract doctors, lawyers, like people of high profession, high caliber. Naturally, they just attract this kind of people because of how they dress, because of how they carry themselves. <laughs> beautiful people welcome to mrs adibola diaries episode six <laughs> i'm super super excited so we're already in episode six that means i've been consistent for like three weeks this feels good like because there are times when i don't even want to film and i'm like but i need to post a video on wednesday and on friday just in case you've not been following I've been posting Mr. Adibola Diaries every Wednesday and Friday. So please leave your notification bells on. And in case you've not subscribed to Yomi and Anu channel, I wonder what you are waiting for. Like seriously, subscribe now. Join the family now. <laughs> okay, okay. Trust me, you will be glad that you did. So do all to subscribe to Yomi and Anu channel. My husband is Yomi and I am Anu and we make videos on this channel. And I just started this series just to see how things go. But today is going to be like talk because I stumbled on something on Instagram. Like this femininity thing. Is this something you, as in, you know, being feminine, being ladylike and all that. Is this something that just falls on you because you are a lady or something you learn? I want us to have this conversation. What do you think? In the comment section, I would like to know, like... Is this something, what do you think about it? Because I have a different opinion about it and I would like to hear your own opinion. But you know, there's this lady, I follow her on on Instagram and I like, I like her post so much. I've learned a lot from her post and I got to discover that some of the things I think that I have been learning or I learned were also from her page. And I will say in my own opinion that being feminine, being, you know, ladylike, trying to do things a way a lady should do it, is something you also imbibe as a habit. Because most of the time, you tend to want to have the masculine part of you showing up, and you tend to want to have the feminine part of you, like, there. So, I believe that every human being has the two sides, masculine and feminine side. You will decide, depending on the situation, if it's your masculine side that's going to show or it's your feminine side that's going to show. And this also happens for the guys, seriously, because sometimes you see them acting like a lady, like in quotes, what like what a lady would do. And you'll be wondering, like, wait, though, why is he acting like that? And or just because at that time, probably his feminine, well, I say his feminine side came out or his woman like <laughs> side <laughs> came up. But let's let's look at this i saw a post which is some things that she was advising and when i went to the comment section i saw some people saying this is kind of manipulation and all that and all that and i'm like this is not manipulation there are some things you will have to learn because they don't come it's not if they don't come naturally but it's just like when a child comes to the world he starts crawling right he sees people walking he's trying to walk but he can't walk so he starts crawling and sometimes you even have to aid him to crawl. Sometimes you have to aid the child to stand. Sometimes you have to aid the child to walk. You see people, they buy a walker for their children so that they can start walking. You know, they walk, they fall, they walk, they fall. And like, this thing keeps happening to them. So I feel learning how to be ladylike has to be a conscious effort. So if you're a lady and you just feel like, okay, it will come, or you're not putting much effort into having that part, you might not be able to attract the kind of guy you want. I see that. Sometimes, I think you will need to stay back and look at the kind of people you are attracting as a person. Are you attracting guys that are this way? Or you're attracting guys that are that way? I think it's very, very important. Because me, I had to be doing the check in my life. Like, every now and then. I even told my husband about it. Like, I think when we started talking and all that. I had to do check in my life. What are the kind of people that are being attracted to me? Are they my juniors? Are they my seniors? Are they people that I look look at and I'm like, okay, I think I like this kind of person. You need to check the kind of people you're attracting. Are you always attracting fraud stars? Are you always attracting people that are unserious in life? Like, you know what I'm talking about. You know, there are some ladies that attract doctors, lawyers, like people of high profession, high caliber. Naturally, they just attract this kind of people because of how they dress, because of how they carry themselves, because of the kind of places they go to. So... 
okay you as a lady check the kind of people you're attracting like are you okay with those cat category of people you're attracting like are you okay with are you attracting area boys are you attracting just church guys are you attracting people in the political sector you know Sometimes too, even the places you go to depend on the kind of people that will get attracted to you. So you need to just sometimes, I just think we need to like sit down and do that like check. Because that check is very, very important. If you don't do that check, you just end up following the wind or I don't know. I, I really don't know how to put it. <laughs> I try to put it in a very, in a, in a more understanding way, but I don't know if I'm getting it right the way i'm putting it but seriously guys this uh, seriously ladies these are things we need to look out for so let's go to the post i saw this post on the feminine guide i like her page so much the feminine guide and she said dark suggestion mm -mm. dark seduction techniques to make him chase you dark seduction techniques to make him chase you and when i read through these things i said this is actually what ladies should do yes some people might disagree with her oh my manipulation okay if you if you're trying to follow the game sometimes you have to follow the game for you to get what you want and now it is when you are in the game everybody now puts them their their guards down and you now begin to see the real persons and know if this is kind of person you want to roll with i don't know like yes you play the game then you fell in love with this person or this person fell in love with you then the person will definitely see your real side. You your real, you, you definitely see the person's real side because you don't know if the person who was playing a game or something. And you get to know whether you guys are now going to match along with each other. Okay, so let me let me list some of these things that she talked about. Number one is tell him why it might never work between both of you. Men like a challenge, and if he likes you, he will want to prove you wrong. Come to think of it as this is not happened to you several times like someone just comes and they're like you know if he dates this girl and you know the guy is like did you just say that have you not heard of people that bet i've i've heard of people that bet on my on my head like when i heard of it i was actually angry but thank god thank god i will not fall for such <laughs> but see people bet in organizations in schools and they'll be like just be, try me just try me if i know if you go talk to that girl like people bet like i don't know why guys do this but they like this kind of challenge they like this kind of i don't know it's like adrenaline coming to their bones and they want to just try something crazy try something new and if you're with this guy okay you're like okay you think you like this guy but you feel he's not like pulling his weight you it's not bad for him for you to make him understand that this thing cannot work between two of you so if he really really likes you like if he really really likes you he's going to try to put in more efforts into the relationship or into the friendship to make sure he gets you as his babe i don't know if you get me and if he doesn't like you he's going to make it obvious some of them will even say things like i never I never planned that we are going to be anything past this or listen to the words pick all the signs both direct and indirect and when these things are thrown at you take them up and run with it know that this guy is not interested in you more than this face which is better it's not better to be it's not better to know where the guy is facing than to be wasting your time with somebody that is not serious <laughs> so if you tell him oh her like Ah, this is, I don't think it's going to, I don't think two of us can even pass this stage or I don't think both of us can ever date or something. If he really, really wants to date you, he's going to push it. He's going to work on the relationship and he's going to try to get you. So I don't think what she said was bad. Number two thing she said, she said, say this when you're with the guy and all that. Like, I see you as a brother. You know, guys, they hate that. They hate that part. And, it's, and why she said you should say that is, if he's been playing it too cool, he will want to take action that removes him from being in this category immediately. Like, you know, when they say this person friend zoned me or the brother zoned me and all that and all that. It is true. No guy wants to that 
wants to date a lady wants to be found in the brother zone area or wants to be friend zoned or wants to be pushed aside so if he really likes you and you make him understand oh i just see you as a brother i'm nothing much and all that he will make you see that you should not be seeing him as a brother you should see him more than a brother and trust me anybody that really likes you doesn't want to be in the brother zone neither do they want to be in the friend zone they want to step up their game so if you keep pushing things like this i don't i don't really look at, look at these things as playing games like if you say things it's just like i listened to a message one time while i was in university the pastor said as a sister if you've been with this guy for a very long time like this guy has been your friend around you he's not trying to push the relationship to the next level he's not seeing both of you going anywhere in quotes you can see it from his actions you can see that he's slowing down things he advised that tell him you are traveling abroad for a course even start applying to go abroad for a course let him see documentations when he begins to see that oh my god i'm actually lose this girl oh. like me and this girl ah but sky this girl she's a very nice girl oh hey i'm actually really want to do this girl he's going to step up his game he's going to say okay okay i think don't you think we should get married don't you think we should do an engagement don't you think we should do this before you say you're going abroad so that uh you know we are not going to stay apart you know he will want to step it up but if he's like oh that would be so nice okay you can go uh, uh, da, 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 da. you know that this guy is not interested better for you pack just pack your kaya and know that you're looking at the next person because seriously i think part of the problem is that we wait too long for somebody that has never even seen us as a wife material to them that's the problem like you're looking at this guy that okay you can marry this guy but this guy is not looking at you in that same manner so the guy is busy with you as a friend but the guy is scouting out for somebody else so when he sees that person he leaves you and he latches out to that person and you're like oh he has broken my heart he has done this he did not necessarily break your heart it was because you were assuming that you guys were in a relationship or you were assuming that this guy has something special for you when he did not even have anything special for you so it's better to know on time there's no thing like okay are you not being too forward or don't you think you're pushing it mm -hmm. it's better for you to know the earlier the better number three another thing she said she said lean back while talking to him so that it's going to show like you don't have too much like you're not desperate because men can obviously they can sense desperacy they know when you're being desperate like they can sense we're trying to push it so when you're with them don't be too uh, all over uh, you know those kind of stuff. so i don't think it's a body language that passes its own message on its own like be calm be relaxed be yourself you know get it together basically <laughs> It's not easy to get it together, especially when you like this person. But it's something you have to understand that if you act so desperate, you might lose what you're trying to get. So why not just like calm down? These are some few things that she mentioned, and she also talked about her course and all that. I think this is a page you, you should check out seriously because she teaches a lot of nice stuff. I might not always, they are, me, I always advise if you go to people's page, you must not accept 100% of what they say. You can take what you know is beneficial to you and leave the rest. It's not everything. Even in church, most of the time when they preach and all, it's not every single thing that is for you. Some are for you. Some are for your neighbor. Some are for the next person. Some are for the... You understand? Pick the one that you know is for you and run with it. Leave anyone that is not for you. So, ladies, basically, I hope you've learned some things from this femininity talk that we just had because... I think these are things we need to consciously imbibe in us. Nobody wants to always wake up in the morning, have a shower, uh, dress nice and stay at home. But these are things you would do if you want to, like people will say, if you want to just make sure you're always attractive for your husband, make sure you do this, make sure you do that. Well, there are all these things. They don't come naturally. There are things you will have to learn. There are things you have to imbibe in you in order to be the kind of person you want to be so don't think that no just be yourself just act the way you know you've always been acting how do you know you've always been acting have you not been learning from other people so i don't think there's anything bad for you to learn how to act when you actually like a guy because when you like a guy you want to do things that are over the board you want to be too <sighs> like it's going to be like 
you are going to be having butterflies you're going to be he will just call you once oh, hello where are you and you're already like telling him everything he has never asked you where you are you've already said the whole thing you're already like telling him about your past relationship about your 10 relationships this what happened that what happened da, da, da. you don't need all that it's step by step so if you want to learn all these things you have to consciously create time consciously read books consciously oh there's this book that really helped my life how to be an irresistible woman oh my god i actually even wrote down some of the things i learned from that book in my diary that sometimes when it seems that i'm falling apart i used to go back to that book and read i'm like this is what he said you must not chase a guy you must not do this you must not i'm telling you i go back and i and i look at these things and i'm like yes i i come back again to normal and i continue so this this stuff is not easy if you want to get it right but trust me with the help of the holy spirit with reading books and all that you are going to get it right i hope this video has helped you if it has give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you've not subscribed like if you've not liked till i catch you next time